Hey everybody, my name is Vapok and I'm your friendly Valheim modder. So uh, today we're going to be talking about the R2 Mod Manager and installing mods for Valheim using the R2 Mod Manager that is available off of Thunderstore. Uh, so if you've gone ahead and installed R2 Mod Manager off of Thunderstore, um, we're going to go ahead and start there. Uh, so we're going to start by uh, opening up R2 Mod Manager with the icon. And when you do, you're going to see you're going to get a window similar to this. This is actually providing a list of all of the um, games that are available on R2 Modman. And you're going to see here they're in alphabetical order. Now, Valheim is up here on the corner because I have gone ahead and hit the star button. When you star your favorite games, they will be at the top of this list. Um, now, uh, at, we also are presented with two different options here. We have set as default, we have select game. Um, what this basically does is that if you set as default, uh, when you start R2 Mod Manager, instead of being presented with this list, it's going to go straight into the profile list that you have. We're going to do that for this particular demo. Um, but regardless of which option you choose, you're going to be asked which store, which uh, where does the game manage mods? And so which store manages your game? So uh, this is going to be Steam or Xbox Game Pass. So if I click on Steam, which we're going to be doing for the purposes of this demo, this is where it's going to be able to execute Valheim and start the game and, and patch it in, in the first place. Um, I have heard mixed reports of Xbox Game Pass working. Um, I think that it's uh, your mileage may vary on that. But for the purpose of this demo, we're going to do Steam. We're going to select that platform, and now it's going to bring me to the profile selection. Now, my profile selection is already built out. I have several profiles that I've been playing with. Your profile selection is probably going to be a little bit more uh, uh, sparse. You might just have the default profile that is available to you. Now, there are a couple different ways that we can work with profiles. All a profile is is just a collection of mods for a particular time, uh, instance of running Valheim. So generally what you're going to see is you're going to probably have a profile for each server uh, that you're going to be connecting to. Uh, every server usually runs a little bit different mod list and a little bit different set of, of requirements. And so that way you have the ability to very quickly and efficiently move between, between profiles when you're switching servers. So for the purpose of this demo, uh, we're going to talk about either creating a new profile or uh, importing a profile through a code, which you're going to be probably receiving um, on this particular site where we want to provide uh, a, a profile code of all of the mods that we're going to be using on the server. But we're going to start with creating new. So I'm going to click create new and I'm going to call this the demo profile and we're going to press uh, create. And now you're going to see on the bottom here, we have demo profile. I'm going to say select profile. And now we are in the newly created demo profile. You'll see here that we don't have any mods installed. Uh, I have not added any yet. Let's go to the store and find some. So if I click on online, you're going to see now we have 3,602 mods uh, to install from, and this nice little search bar at the top. So for the purposes of the demo, we're going to click on, we're going to search for Epic Loot, and uh, you're going to see here we are presented with a bunch of different Epic Loot options. Uh, my recommendation is is to find out who the original mod author is and uh, install that one. Um, in this case, Epic Loot was originally written by Randy Knapp. And we're going to go ahead and click on that and then the download button. And you're going to see here we're presented with a whole bunch of versions. My recommendation is to always use the latest version of any mod and to keep all mods updated as mod authors release new updates. Uh, and now we're going to click on this download with dependencies. And this is really important because some mods have dependencies. Actually, all mods will have a dependency of some sort. We're going to say click with download and you're going to uh, and then we're going to go back to the install. You're going to see we actually have two mods that were installed. We have Epic Loot, but then we also have the Bepinex pack uh, that was installed. And that's because Epic Loot has a dependency on the Bepinex pack for Valheim. Uh, this is actually uh, true for all mods. All mods will have this um, dependency for the Bepinex pack. So now we've gone in here. I'm going to go ahead and look for a couple other mods. Maybe we want to look for Project Aga. Uh, and so AGA is also by Randy Knapp. We're going to go ahead and click download on that. Download with dependencies. 
uh, now we have a couple more and then the last one we're going to look for is the valheim plus so we're going to click that valheim plus uh, grant defer temporary uh so this is the one you want to use um and make sure that it's by grant defer um he is the current uh maintainer for valheim plus so we're going to go ahead and click download on that one as well and so now you see we have four different mods that are installed this is good enough for our our, our demo here um, so now that I have the list of mods that I want to use, I can click up here to the start modded and it will actually start my version of Valheim, uh, with mods. And you're going to see, uh, there's probably going to be a profile or a, a console window that pops up. It's going to have the Bepinex scroll. Um, and then you're going to get into Valheim. That's how you start, uh, Valheim with mods through R2 mod manager. It is super simple. Now, if you don't want to use mods and you want to start the vanilla version of Valheim, you click start vanilla and R2 mod man will just start Valheim with no mods installed. Uh, and so this is a, a nice little option if you need to switch between modded or not modded. Now, you might have heard, uh, you, might, you might remember that I mentioned something about profile codes. So when we do profile codes, um, these are things that you can share with other people that's a little bit more digestible that allows other people to install the same list of mods that you have. So if I click on, say I want to share my profile with you and I'm going to click on settings and uh, I'm going to click on um, export profile as a code. Under the profile, we have export profile as a code. Click on that, and it's going to present me with this nice little uh, number. We call this GUID in TechSpeak, uh, but this is a, a, the profile code that you're going to copy. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. And now what we can do with that is we're going to go back to the profile list. So under profile, we're going to say change profile, and it takes us back to the profile selection list. From here, I can come into the import and update. If I import, and I'm going to say I'm going to import to a new profile, and I'm going to import from a code. I'm going to paste that code that I just got into here, and we're going to say import. And say, hey, this is a demo profile. Uh, for this particular one, demo profile is already in use. So let's name it something different. I'm going to say, this is a copy profile from code. Let's say from a code. And there I have it. We're going to say, click create. And now you're going to see that we have copy profile from a code. We're going to select that. And now we have a pre-built profile with all of the four mods that we just created, but in a different profile. Uh, and then you can go back to settings, back to profile, change the profile. And now you're, you can now select from a different one. You can, you can manage your, uh, your profile, say if you want to delete a profile, you can do that. Um, and so that's how we work with profiles. So once we're in a profile, um, I'm going to just quickly go over a couple other things with uh, R2 Modman. If you need to configure any of the um, uh, configs that come along with mods, you can do that through the config editor. Now, um, I recommend that uh, you use the configuration manager inside of the game. That's actually another mod. If you click on online and look for configuration manager, uh right here and download that 1801 this configuration manager allows you to press f1 in game and you can edit the configurations for any of the mods through that but you can do if you're r2 mod mana manager too so we're going to look at the um we're going to look at the bepinx config as an example just because i don't have any other configs right now so you can see here that it breaks the config apart you have sections <coughs> And then you have the field. So you can select different fields. You can type stuff in. This is how we edit the configuration uh, for various mods inside of R2 Mod Man. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you need to get into, oh, uh, oftentimes when we're troubleshooting something, you might hear us talk about the profile folder. Uh, if you click on the profile folder, it's actually going to open up a Windows Explorer uh, where you can uh, get access to the file system that it installs uh, into the game. And so in there, there's, there's actually a log file that we pull out sometimes that we, uh, that we ask for um, when we're troubleshooting things. Short of that, 
Um, R2 mod manager is pretty powerful. You have a whole bunch of different settings uh, that you can uh, scroll through and look through. But in a, in a nutshell, this is how you install mods for Valheim. I hope that this uh, video was helpful for you. Um, please reach out to me on uh, Discord if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for giving this a look.